Hello everybody, it's Sierra Marie here. This video is for you, whether you're an adult, a kid, a teenager, thanks for joining me. I wanna talk about fairness with you today because as Unitarian Universalists, we talk about fairness a lot. We talk about it usually when we're talking about it, we call it justice. Um, but what do people mean when they talk about fairness? A lot of times people say that fairness is everybody getting the same amount. Um, so if we have a container of blueberries, let's just pretend this is a container of blueberries. It's not, but let's just pretend this is a container of blueberries. Um, and you eat most of the blueberries. That's not going to be feeling super fair to me. And if you and I each kind of get half of the blueberries, that's going to feel more fair to me. But fairness isn't exactly that. Fairness is really everybody getting what they need. And we can talk sometime about the difference between needs and wants and how that fits into fairness. But for now, let's just say that I am kind of full because I had a big meal uh, before we saw each other. And so when you get out the blueberries, I don't feel like I need any blueberries or I might only want to have a few bites. Um... So it might be fair for uh, for you to have more of the blueberries. And um, maybe I have some blueberries at my own house and I figure ah, I can get some blueberries later. So I don't need to have um, blueberries from your container. I don't need to have so many blueberries from, from your container. Of course, it helps if uh, we are both... <laughs> caring about fairness for the other person. It doesn't work too well if I'm just thinking about what's fair for me or you're just thinking about what's fair for you and neither of us is thinking about the other person. We both have to kind of be committed to, hey, we want to make sure that everybody gets what they need. And I might ask you, um, are you hungry right now before deciding how much uh, of the blueberries I'm going to eat because if I'm less hungry or if I'm more hungry, we might negotiate that differently. We might come up with a different solution. Um, so it's good if you can ask me, hey, do you have some blueberries at home? You know, that kind of thing. Or um, I can ask you the same kind of question. That works well in fairness. Let's just, you might have, you might have heard about this, this story before, this example, but just for fun, I'm going to share it. Uh, maybe somebody has already shared it with you. Let's say, um, okay, so I have some paper hearts. <laughs> um, and I, you'll see paper hearts in today's service too, uh, if you haven't already watched it. Um, but let's say that a family of paper hearts, a big heart and a medium sized heart and a little heart all want to go to see a baseball game. And in their neighborhood, there are some seats around the baseball field, but all the seats are taken and uh, the, the field has been closed off for any more people. Um, but there's a, a wooden fence around. Now, the big heart can see over the fence, so the big heart can enjoy the baseball game without worrying about it. The medium heart can uh, see over pretty well, especially if the medium heart gives a little jump every now and then. If they're able to jump, that works out pretty well. But the medium heart can see over pretty well. Baby heart can't see over at all can't see over this fence at all. So if we were going to talk about fairness as everybody getting the same amount, we might say um, we'll give everybody a box to stand on. So a big heart here has a huge box or, and um, is way, way, way taller than the fence and can see way, way, way well. Um, and then a medium heart has a huge box and is standing on a huge box and... Um, Medium heart can see very well over the fence. And baby heart can also see over the fence, although probably not quite as well on baby heart's huge box, right? That's everybody getting exactly the same thing. Some people call that equality. But we actually didn't need to give big heart a box. Like big heart can just kind of stand here and enjoy the game. And we didn't need to give medium heart a box or, or maybe we just needed... Uh, slightly, let's say we give medium, uh, a, a medium size box to medium heart and medium heart can see plenty well 
over the fence. Whoops. And then Baby Heart might need a bigger box. And now Baby Heart can see over the fence very well. So now we have what's called equity. It's a kind of fairness where everybody has exactly what they need. But we might also think like, why a fence? Um, why was there a fence around this, a wooden fence around this baseball field? And um, especially because sometimes those fences are built to keep people from certain streets out or, or something like that. Or let's say that the fence is built way higher in certain on certain parts of the, um, the field so that people who came from certain houses on certain streets can't see over the fence as well. That's more like uh, what injustice, not having justice looks like in our communities that um, things haven't been built for everybody and they've been built to give some people more and some people less. So we might start thinking, well, what would it look like if we could get rid of this fence? <laughs> How do we get rid of this fence? Um, so if we give everybody a box, that's, that's like social action. It means we're making sure that everybody has what they need. It's really important. If people are hungry, that we share food with them. And hopefully they'll do the same for us. We can even set up things that are called mutual aid communities where we share food back and forth, you know, so that we make sure everybody has what they need in our mutual aid community. Um, that kind of thing. Um, and we and we get resources in from other places to make sure that we all have enough to eat. Um, but what we do when we say we're going to take away the fence or we're going to we're going to find a way to make sure that fences don't get built so they're not even. And so that some places they're really high and some places they're really low and some people can see over them and some people can't. Um, that's called social justice. When you, we change the structure of things and we take away the barriers, the fences um, that keep people from getting what they need. Um so both social justice and social action are important, right? Because in the, um, it takes a long time, maybe in some cases to get a fence removed, but it doesn't take so long to get out a box for somebody to stand on um, if they need a box to stand on. Um, so we might do some social action, making sure people have what they need, but also work on social justice, making sure that the barriers for people getting what they need are taken away and that everybody can have a just uh, society to live in. So those are my thoughts on fairness. I would love to hear your thoughts on fairness. I hope that you will take some time to share with me some of your thoughts on fairness. You can make a video to send back or tell somebody in your family something to email to me um, or whatever. Um, sometime we'll just chat about it, uh, however you want to do it. But uh, I would love to hear what you think about fairness. So we've talked about equality, uh, everybody having the same amounts, equity, everybody having what they need. We've talked about social action, making sure everybody has what they need. And we've talked about social justice, taking away barriers and making sure that everybody could get what they need. Um, and it was great to be with you this morning, even though I was sad not to see your faces. All right. Bye-bye.